Hey, what's good guys? John here and it's finally happening. The Tesla wheel nag is eventually going away and it's already starting. So to start off, if you guys don't already know what the wheel nags are, they're essentially there's a blue flashing screen with a notification at the bottom to put your hands on the wheel when it isn't for a period of time. Now this can get pretty annoying after a little while of straight road driving or when you're on a road trip and there is nothing beside you, in front of you, behind you and it's still nagging you to put your hands on the wheel. Now Tesla has done it a little bit different from say Honda or Mazda where a little nudge, a little input is enough to keep the system on and going. With Tesla you practically have to nudge it so hard to the point where you're almost kicking it off the system before it verifies that you're still there. Now definitely this can get on your nerves if you're simply just driving in a straight line like I've mentioned. Now because of this fact a lot of people have decided to purchase and use something as a defeat device. Essentially what it does is it adds a little bit of weight onto the steering wheel and that keeps the system active without putting your hands on it. Now of course this isn't recommended but I wouldn't say I have never tried it myself and it works really well but there is a lot of times where it does need to do a full rotation and this is where the thing that is strapped on if it wasn't one of those special devices that you guys can buy online uh, those are just gonna fall off and you're gonna have to restrap the entire thing. Now here's the thing Tesla knows all about this but some how they kept it going for a very long time but just recently Tesla pushed out a software update which practically disabled all the defeat devices and that means that uh, the only thing you can really do is put your hands on the wheel. Now we don't know for sure how they able to distinguish between a hand movement versus a water bottle movement or some kind of device but as of right now from what I can tell even though I'm holding on to the steering wheel there are times where it will still notify me and I'll have to really shake it bad before it keeps the system going. So just like myself, after Tesla implemented the software update, a lot of people started complaining and Tesla definitely heard about this. They reduced a little bit of the sensitivity and it got things working again. However, it's still such an annoyance knowing that they do have the capabilities with the interior camera that they're not relying on it and they're relying on the torque sensor. So fast forward a few months, a Twitter user by the name of Omar, if you guys don't know who he is, you can search him up on there by Homar's blog. He does a bunch of self-driving videos videos and no interventions at all. He tweeted out and tagged Elon essentially suggesting that after about 10,000 miles of FSD beta usage that the neg would go away completely. Now surprisingly enough Elon did reply and he agreed completely and he said that there was going to be an update in January of 2023 which was going to implement the system. Well to our surprise NHTSA reached out right after that tweet and it gave crap to Elon and the Tesla team about this whole system with level 2 and being completely hands off. It was such a big deal to the point where we've heard nothing about this update for months after that tweet and a lot of people have been bumping the thread asking him about the situation but from that point until now it was literally just pure silence just like FSD beta subscription in Canada. Don't know what's going on there but yeah there was nothing heard from Elon himself about this whole facial recognition inside of the vehicle and facial tracking. Now surprisingly enough another user just recently bumped the thread and tagged Elon once again hoping for an answer and he did answer. He gave us an update on the situation and that Tesla is slowly reducing the nags overall until they're completely removed and this is all based on the safetyness of FSD beta and that means as of right now if you guys are having an amazing experience with 11.3.5 that means that your nags are going to be reduced until the point there is no more. So what does this all mean? It means that if you live in the US or in Canada and you have FSD beta software on your vehicle you're going to slowly notice that there are going to be fewer and fewer nags until to the point where it's just purely hands off. Now I don't know about the whole 10,000 mile FSD beta drive. This is going to be substantially more in kilometers. So I don't see myself even getting close to that within a two to three year drive. I think this number is going to be pushed down way lower. That definitely makes a lot more sense for people who don't commute that much. I'm doing roughly in conversion uh, five to ten miles per day. That would take me more than two to three years to be able to get the FSD beta build to no longer nag. But even then, with the latest version of FSD beta, there is nowhere near no intervention drives for me. I'm really hoping that this is going to come sooner or later because it's so much better to drive without having to tug the steering wheel once in a while that I do with autopilot. It gets to the point where it gets so annoying that I prefer just driving on my own. What do you guys think? Are you guys doing the same thing while you're on a basic autopilot or navigate an autopilot stack? Or are you just letting the vehicle drive with a little bit of nudge every few seconds? Now the real sad news 
news here is that it doesn't apply to anywhere else in the world right now because only FSD beta users have it. And unfortunately, that means that it's only available in North America, which doesn't even include Mexico. So if you guys are anywhere outside of the US and Canada, you are not going to be getting the no neg on autopilot. Now regarding the situation of FSD beta going outside internationally, I will have a video specific to that coming out in the next couple of days here. So anyways, this should wrap it up for this one, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe and the bell notification. I will continue to update you guys as I hear anything else in the Tesla world. So make sure you guys do that. And this is John once again. Peace out.